The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier. Our first reading is from the book of Deuteronomy. Listen, Israel. Yahweh our God is the one, the only Yahweh. You must love Yahweh your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength. Let the words I enjoin on you today stay in your heart. You shall tell them to your children and keep on telling them when you are sitting at home, when you are out and about, when you are lying down, and when you are standing up. You must fasten them on your hand as a sign and on your forehead as a headband. You must write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. When Yahweh has brought you into the country which he swore to your ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that he would give you, with great and prosperous cities you have not built, with houses full of good things you have not provided, with wells you have not dug, with vineyards and olive trees you have not planted. And then, when you have eaten as much as you want, be careful you do not forget Yahweh who has brought you out of Egypt, out of the place of slave labor. Yahweh your God is the one you must fear. Him alone you must serve. His is the name by which you must swear. And our responsorial psalm is from Psalm 18. Yahweh is my rock and my fortress. My deliverer is my God. I take refuge in him, my rock, my shield, my saving strength, my stronghold, my place of refuge. I call to Yahweh who is worthy of praise and I am saved from my foes with death's breakers closing in on me, Belial's torrents ready to swallow me, the God who gives me vengeance and subjects whole peoples to me, saves me. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. As they were rejoining the crowd, a man came up to Jesus and went down on his knees before him. Lord, he said, take pity on my son, he is demented and in a wretched state. He's always falling into fire and into water. I took him to your disciples and they were unable to cure him. In reply, Jesus said, faithless and perverse generation, how much longer must I be with you? How much longer must I put up with you? Bring them here to me. And when Jesus rebuked it, the devil came out of the boy who was cured from that moment. Then the disciples came privately to Jesus. Why were we unable to drive it out, they asked. And he answered, because you have so little faith. In truth, I tell you, if your faith is the size of a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. The Gospel of the Lord.